I'm sure you've been asked about this, so apologize if, uh, if this is a repeat, but what, what are you seeing from Tier Tart? I know he was suspended for a game, but seemed to, seemed to be pretty active on Sunday. What kind, of, what kind of progress do you think he's making? I think he's making um, good progress. You know, again, with all of those young players at all positions, it's, um, you know, it was a little bit of a struggle for him not having the offseason program and um, limited training camp. But I think he's come in and has done a good job for us. A big, strong guy with some athletic ability and, um, and wants to get better. So love working with him. And going up against a, a guy like Aaron Rodgers this coming week, what, what are kind of the main uh, focal points that you'll have your guys hone in on as to, as to how, you know, you can, you can affect him? Yeah, I mean, you can't trick him. Like, he, he's smart. He does a good job with heart counts. He does a good job with, um, you know, getting on the ball when guys are trying to substitute. So, um, you know, he's a, a, a great player. And, Hall of Fame player and probably win the MVP this year. So um, it's going to be a challenge for all of us on on defense. Uh, Jim Watt. Hey, Coach, one more on Tart. I know Mike was kidding yesterday about Tart maybe lobbying to try to get that sack recorded for him on Sunday. Did, did he think he'd had it? Did you have to break the news to him that he didn't get recorded a sack and do and you think he deserves one there? Hell, hell, I was lobbying for him. We need as many sacks as we can get, right? <laughs> so, no, it, it was a it was a great explosive play by him. And, um, you know, he, he, he did a good job of just attacking a line of scrimmage. And like I said, if he continues down the, the path that he's on, he'll have an opportunity to make uh, more sacks that count. And, and I've got one on Daquan. Yeah, yeah he does – uh, you know, certainly a lot of work doesn't get the attention that Jarrell did when he was with you last year, probably didn't get the attention that Jeffrey does, but he, he continues to make plays, had the force fumble Sunday, had a block field goal the week before. What, what stands out about his work ethic and, and how happy are you when you see him make plays that get him recognition? You know what? The guy is, is a, what we would consider to be a gym rat. Like he's always studying tape, um, always asking questions and, um, Anytime you got a guy that you know cares cares about the team and cares about football and learning and uh, been in a league, I believe this is seventh or close to eighth year, somewhere around there, and, and still trying to learn and, and do what's best for the team, you can't do anything but root for him. And I think he's having a really solid year for us. Uh, John Glennon. Hey, Coach Williams, um, question for you. I know you, you, you touched on sacks earlier. Um, I wonder if, you know, as much as the team is in need of, of sacks, um, is it fair, do you think, to, to expect more from, you know, maybe Jeffrey in, in that regard? Um, or, or, you know, is the fact that he's so often double team kind of prevent him from uh, getting after the passer? Well, I mean, you, you have sacks and then you have um, – uh, pressures and hits and things like that. And I think when you look at Jeff, um, he's been pressuring the quarterback. It's, it's, and he's missed um, some opportunities and, and, you know, slipped and different things. And um, so I, I think he's doing, doing, I mean, everybody can do a little bit more and I think he wants to do a little bit more, but he's fighting and battling in there just like, like all of those guys. And, I mean, I've been in this league long enough to know that um, sometimes sacks come in bunches. And as long as we're still playing, um, we're going to continue to work and grind and, and do the things that we need to do to be successful with winning as a football team. Because it ain't just about a, a stat, one stat. It's a, for us here, and I know Mike preaches it, it's, it's about winning. Like, that's what we care about. And that's what our players care about. Sure. And, and maybe, uh, you know, sort of a similar version of that same question, I guess, as he continues in his career, is that, you know, kind of the next level for him being able to, uh, you know, pressure the passer even even more than he is uh, right now? 
Yeah, I mean, he's 23 years old and in his yeah. second year. Um, so, I mean, he's going to – he'll have an opportunity to make a, a bunch of plays over, over the course of his career, I'm sure, as long as he stays healthy. So, um, again, it's – that's I think if you ask Jeff – could he have four sacks or us win the football game? I, I think I pretty much know the answer to that. And so he cares about winning and cares about the team. So that's what's important to us. Thank you. Uh, Buck? Yeah, a couple follow-ups for you, Coach. Just going back to, to Daquan, how much of, of a physical difference – you talk about him being a gym rat. How much of a physical difference do you see in him from the time that you first got here to – to where he kind of is now you know what he take he really is taking care of his body he's leaned up um uh drop drop some weight and and again i think it shows and he's um he's healthy right now and, and playing hard like i said earlier i think he's having a a heck of a year for us and we're gonna need him um going forward here against green bay and then on Jack, he, he seems to be uh, asked to do a variety of different things. I mean, they all are, I guess, but Jack, to play a little more on the outside from time to time when, when, the, uh, when the numbers with outside linebackers haven't necessarily been there. Uh, how has he kind of responded to a, the variety of different things that he's been asked to do within the defense? You know what? Jack's a smart player, and, um, and, and, and he does whatever we ask him to do. And, and, again, we wouldn't ask a guy to do something that we don't think they can physically or mentally handle. So um, he, he's done a, a really good job for us, and we're going to need him to continue to do a good job and even better job going forward. And then last one for me. Uh, the, the time to throw with quarterbacks seems to be so much quicker uh, this year. At least it's progressing that way. I saw Rodgers had, had a really short time to throw last week as well. What – when when they're doing things like that to help mitigate pressure, is it just as simple as get your hands up when the ball is released, or or how do you kind of how do you kind of help help your guys be more effective in such a short span of time? Yeah, I mean, I think we you can work on getting your hands up and ball disruption and and those things. And I think when you look at um, quarterbacks that are generally getting sacked, it's everybody wants to point to the offensive line. A lot of times, and here I am defending the O line as a D line coach. But a lot of times, the the when quarterbacks are getting sacked, they're they're holding the ball. Generally, I mean that's usually. I mean, I don't care if you're unblocked. If a guy's throwing the ball in two point one seconds, you're probably probably not going to get there and hit him. So generally, when when quarterbacks are getting sacked, I watch every sack throughout the league every week, and and there's generally a, a trend guys are holding the ball or people are making mistakes. And then there's some that are just flat out beating people. So, I mean, it's a combination of all those different things. Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Paul, I saw you jump in. Do you have anything? Yes, please. Uh, wondering, wondering about Jeffrey, is there any temptation uh, at all T to, uh, to, to move him? Or do you think that's something that might come later in his career um, where you shift him out, out of that position to try to get him into, to, I don't know, more advantageous spots or make people account for him in different ways? Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's, that's a, a good thought. And, and trust me, we, every, every week we're game planning and, and moving different guys in different spots and, um, you know, right now, I think the position that he's playing, um, he's doing a, a great job. And the, the, the stats don't always tell the, um, the story when you're playing a uh, defensive tackle position. So, um, you know, we're going right now, we're just, I mean, honestly, we're just trying to win the football game every week and, and do whatever it, whatever it takes. And I think Jeff's willing to do whatever it takes. So. Um, that's kind of where we are uh, with that. I'm going to follow up on, on Jeffrey. Obviously, last year it was a shortened season for him coming off the injury. This year he's played, you know, 
entire year and, and hopefully a lot more to come. How has he kind of managed that? How do you think his body's managed it? And, and how maybe some of the time he's had off during the week kind of helped him stay in a good position here in late December? Yeah, you know what? He is a big, strong, young, athletic um, athletic uh, player. And, and um, he also takes care of his body. So I think right now uh, going in our – um, last two weeks of the, of the regular season, I mean, I think he's right exactly where we um, need him to be. I mean, anytime you play that position that he plays and play it at the level that he plays where he's going hard and playing a lot of snaps, and I mean, there's going to be a little bit of wear and tear, but um, it's no different than any other uh, defensive lineman across the league uh, kind of has right now. So, I mean, I'm happy with where he is right now. How is he from a diet standpoint or from what he puts in his body? And uh, and and is that a part of it where you have to preach to him? You got to eat right. You got to do things right. I'm sure you've seen some guys come in that want to go to McDonald's or Wendy's every day. I mean, how, how does he keep his weight up and still and stay in looks like great shape? Yeah, I think, um, you know, with with him, I don't <laughs> we don't we don't allow him to eat in our room and we're not really around him to kind of watch him and monitor him, but um, he takes care of his body. I mean, you can just look at him and and I know his body fats down and all of those things. So you can't um, look and, and, and move like he does eating McDonald's and Wendy's. So I think he's doing a good job of um, taking care of himself and kind of listening to what Frank and those guys in the, in the um, weight room are kind of telling them what to do. And I got one more on, on the Friday, you know, you guys work hard during the course of the week during that individual period on Friday, you have a little fun with those guys running routes. So I've seen Jeffrey catch passes. I've seen him throw passes. How, how much do you think those guys enjoy that small part of the practice week? And, <clears throat> and do they try to show off a little bit? Yeah. You know what? We take, take about, three minutes every, like you said, every Friday and kind of see and make sure we film it. And those guys like the, we end up watching it on Saturday mornings and they like to kind of critique each other. So it's a, um, it's a good way to one, to get them loose and moving. Uh, but two, it's also a good way to have fun and, 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 and see who can catch some balls. Heck, you never know. They may be auditioning for an offensive spot one day. So.